what is prrt what are the type of cancers that are being treated with prrt what are the side effects of prrt these are the usual questions being asked to us by the patients and their relatives so we will be discussing them one by one and other aspects of prrt hi i am dr swagat dash head of the department nuclear medicine and molecular theranostics sarvoday hospital faridabad india prrt as the name indicates this is a kind of nuclear therapy for a specific type of cancer that is neuroendocrine tumor or neuroendocrine cancer now coming to how prrt works as you, as i have already explained this is a kind of peptide receptor radionuclide therapy so it has two component one is a peptide which binds to the receptor on the tumor cells another is a radio radiation emitting isotope so both when combines they give rise to radio peptide usual peptides are somatostatin analogs which are being taken up by the neuroendocrine tumors and the usual radio radio isotope that is radiation emitting isotopes are either lutetium 177 or actinium 225 or yttrium 90 these three are the most common radio isotopes being considered for prrt when this radio peptide that is either lutetium or actinium or yttrium labeled radio peptide is being injected to the patient this radio conjugate or radio peptide goes to the tumor cells binds internalized by the tumor cells and give internal radiation so the tumor cells are being irradiated from within and they are being killed since this radio isotope they have a very short path length that is within millimeter to centimeter so the normal cells surrounding the tumor cells they are mostly not affected this is the beauty of this treatment now coming to what are the cancers in which prrt may be considered number 1 is islet cell tumor of pancreas number 2 is gastroenteropancreatic neuroendocrine tumor that is gastro means of stomach entero means intestine or pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor pheochromocytoma small cell carcinoma of lung another a specific type of thyroid cancer that is medullary cancer thyroid which is not responding to iod these are the usual indication when prrt may be given now coming to when your doctor would consider referring you for prrt so in the, to answer this question we need to understand one thing that is the grading of neuroendocrine tumor usually it is being graded as grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 depending on ki67 index you must have seen in your biopsy report ki67 or mib index must have been mentioned when the ki67 or mib index is less than 2% that is it is being a very slow growing indolent tumor nothing to be done just wait and watch when this index is more than 30% that means a grade 3 tumor this is highly aggressive tumor to be treated as high grade cancers with chemotherapy and other systemic effects prrt is being considered for grade 2 tumors when the ki67 or mib index is within 2 to 30% when this tumor is progressing or advanced stage this grade 2 tumor is progressing or is in advanced stage which cannot be tackled through any surgery and when the associated symptoms they are not responding to any other conventional treatment in this condition only your physician or your treating doctor may consider referring you for prrt therapy now coming to benefits of prrt therapy number 1 this is a personalized kind of treatment that means the radio radio isotopes and radio pharmaceutical they can be tailored depending on the patient's biological behavior and molecular characteristic of individual tumors number 2 this is a targeted therapy that means when it is being injected to the patient's body this radio peptide that is prrt is being taken up only by the tumor cells which are expressing a specific receptor peptide receptor not by the normal body cells so the radiation is lethal radiation is being given 
only to the cancer cells the tumor cells not to the normal cells of the body so side effects are minimal when as compared to the chemotherapy that is the advantage then now coming to the side effects is there any side effects of prrt generally this is a very safe procedure and well tolerated by most of the patients however some may experience nausea vomiting and fatigue which are mild and self limiting most of the patients it is being done as an opd procedure out patient basis patient come take the medicine take the injection and then go the duration of each procedure is approximately 5 to 6 hours and most of the patients at the end of the treatment they are fit to go home very few patients they may need hospitalization for 1 to 2 days depending on their specific conditions now coming to the treatment schedule basically it depends on your disease burden what is the disease burden in the body that defines the treatment schedule most of the patients they need 4 to 6 cycles with a gap of 2 month or 8 weeks in between however it may go up to 10 cycles as well depending on the disease burden and how the individual patient is responding main goal of prrt therapy i mean you need to understand this therapy is not to cure of cancer it is not the cure of cancer it gives you the symptom relief the main point is it relieves you of the symptoms number 1 it decreases the growth of the tumor and arrests the decreases the size of the existing tumor cells and improves the quality of life these are the three main goal of this therapy how safe is prrt mostly it is a very safe procedure however patient and attendants they need to discuss with doctors for their individual individualization of therapy and the uh, uh, fractionation to know how is it safe now coming down to which patient is not a candidate for this therapy if the patient has renal impairment that is kidney functions are impaired liver is impaired or there are impaired heart functions then these patients are not candidate for this therapy and one most important thing pregnancy and lactation during this period also this therapy should not be given now coming to the success rate what is the success rate when we contemplate any treatment we need to know what is the success rate and you should know that more than 80% of the patient they are relieved of their symptoms with improved quality of life and overall survival thank you so much these are the questions that we encountered in day to day life and i have tried to simplify them through these videos if you have any other questions or any other queries in your mind you can uh, write down them in comment section we will try to simplify them we will try to explain them and if you like this video then please share with your uh, near and dear ones or anyone whom you may know that they may get benefit out of this and if you like this then please subscribe to our channel we will be coming up with many more educative videos on nuclear medicine and other medical aspects thank you so much